I was asked two questions right now. One was, what if I'm facing a left hand? Okay? It's the same thing. You just hold your, hold your, actually, I, I, I really adhere to this style because I can remember being an amateur and, you know, everybody had problems with left handers. That bothered me. It bothered me tremendously that a guy who really wasn't that good, he wasn't better than me, but I had problems with him because he was born left-handed. I couldn't give him that advantage, you know? I studied left-handers and I studied the, how to hold this style to where it was effective, and just because he was born left-handed didn't mean he had an advantage over me. He still had to be better than me. He still had to outfight me, period, you know? And that's why I went over that. So, honestly, to deal with a left-hander, it is the exact same thing. And uh, I was going over this just now. What we do is because when we're with the same size, same side fighter, we feel comfortable. For one, we have a certain, certain sense of distance and spacing. You know, your, your jab is here, his foot is back, you have room. And you feel like you have a lot of room to run your offense. When you're facing the opposite side fighter, you, you feel as though you're restricted. His foot is here, his hand is here, and you feel like you're restricted as into your movement, okay? It's mental, it's all mental. If you're sitting in here, hold your true boxer stance and keep your opponent at the end of it. From here, even if he's moving and he's trying to get to the outside, you'll see a lot of times they'll tell left-handed fighters and right-handed fighters when you're fighting left-handed fighters, stay to the outside. That's the advantage. Now, I will explain why that concept is used and why it is effective. And then I'll show you why we can nullify it. Now, if you're sitting in here, most stances are open here anyway. So now, when I can keep my foot to the outside and his foot is open, as usual, now my right hand fits right down where his face should be. That's why they like for you to go to the outside on the opposite hand fighters. If he can do the same thing, if I'm standing in here and he can place his foot to the outside, his left hand is right in the line of where I should be standing. Now, if I hold this stance and he goes to the outside, he can throw that left hand all he wants and it's not as effective because I've taken it from him. The minute I step into it, now going to the outside makes sense, all right? Also, by holding this stance here, if he puts his foot to the outside, I can just move the outside. He's no longer outside. You understand? So you can nullify that positional advantage simply by acquiring the same target, the same proper side alignment from here. So it doesn't matter if he puts his foot to the outside or not. I can move right away from it. It does matter if I'm standing in here, okay? So you can make that traditional positioning advantage thing that everybody goes for, null and void, go out the window, it doesn't even count. You know, it doesn't work. And if you do, if you do stand in here and a left-hander steps to the outside and fires on you and hits you dead in your face, don't give him credit for hitting you. Take the blame for standing in the wrong spot. All right? <laughs> you take the blame for being out of position. And it's easy to fix. You don't have to bow down. Gosh, this guy's going to hit me with that right that left hand all night. No, he's not. Just move your foot and it's gone. Just stand where you're supposed to and let him, let him find some other way to score. If you stand there all night, yeah, he will. It's almost a guarantee. The minute he finds something that works, he's going to run it. He's going to run it all night. So as long as you allow it to stand, then you take it. And when it's all over, he'll get credit for the win, but it's really your fault. You take the blame for that loss.